Okay. Today we are gonna talk about the coronavirus and the SARS CoV, SARS CoV, the COVID virus, and uh, its treatment in media and uh, and uh, in relation to China. First, we're gonna go through some background and some facts, and then. Uh, <clears throat> the WHO's uh, uh, process of naming the name of the virus and then how the narrative against China has problems and then some conclusions and uh, opinions okay first the background and facts about uh, pandemics and viruses <sighs> First of all, pandemics have always occurred in human history. It's just a fact, like, viruses spread internationally, and people get infected and they die. Okay, we're going to go through a list of examples. Uh, the first uh, pandemic virus is the one that's ac currently active, the coronavirus. It occurred in 2019, and yes, it's a pandemic. <coughs> the next uh, pandemic virus that occurred uh, was the influenza A virus. Uh, it occurred in 2009. Another human coronavirus occurred in uh, 2002, a pandemic of a coronavirus. Uh, then in 1980, the human immunodeficiency virus, uh, the virus that causes AIDS, started to spread. Uh, then in uh, 1961 subtype virus spread uh, started to spread in 1957 and uh, the so-called Spanish flu which was also an influenza virus started to spread in 1918 and started a pandemic also and in 1899 uh, a cholera uh, pandemic started I mean, I put the rest of the of the pandemics, uh, pandemic outbreaks of viruses in the video info, but <clears throat> it happens. Pandemics happen regularly in human history, and it just happens. <clears throat> so, um. I mean, it's a fact that pandemics occur regularly in the world, and uh, once a virus has started to spread, it's, I mean, it will spread to very many countries. Like sometimes even like uh, to every country. I mean, like it 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 just happens. It just happens, and like it just happens. That's just a fact. <clears throat> so uh, we mentioned the Spanish flu that um, was an influenza subtype virus that killed um, that killed a lot of people. 
I'm. I will put uh, in the video information how many people the Spanish flu, the so-called Spanish flu killed. But um, this uh, is in relation to like why the WHO, uh, you know, uh, why my analysis of why the well, that's not only my analysis, but you know, an analysis of why WHO started to like uh, promote neutral names for uh, this pandemic virus in particular. So anyway, uh, the Spanish flu did not originate in Spain, but because uh, circumstances uh, occurred uh, relating to Spain, uh, people started to call the, this influenza, this pandemic that caused a lot of people to die, uh, the Spanish flu. <clears throat> And uh, there were no facts about like where the the, the this uh, the, this virus originated, where the pandemic originated, but uh, conveniently Spain was blamed. So uh, this call caused xenophobia against Spain and people of Spain, and uh, and uh, and and it became a conspiracy against Spain that Spain, you know, spreads disease, spreads a pandemic viruses, the people who die are die because of Spain and so on and so on. And uh, <clears throat> even after the facts came out, like it's been established that the, the that the influenza that's called the Spanish flu in 1918 came from America. It came from Kansas. Okay, so even after the facts have come out that, that it's not Spain that is uh, the origin of this uh, pandemic, Spain still uh, has to deal with that it's called the Spanish flu and that Spain is responsible for it when it's not true. So uh, so even like a hundred years later it's still called the Spanish flu even though like we know now that it's not Spain that, you know, had the first occurrence of this um, pandemic virus. So, uh, so, 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 the problem with calling the COVID-19 virus, uh, the Wuhan virus, or the Kung flu virus, the Chinese virus, and so on and so forth, is that, um, Is, is that it creates uh, xenophobia against a country and uh, uh, hatred and so on that with or without facts uh, of the origin of the virus hurts that country. And uh, I mean, I would say that the... That the Yeah, and I mean, the problem with America and American media that influences world media, and especially when Trump was president, is that America is unfortunately a racist country. It was built on the slavery and mass murder of black people from the start, racism from the start. And to spread and propagate the idea of a Chinese virus in uh, American media towards the world in order to like create hysteria and uh, sensation, sensational news and clickbaits and so on just we know that it creates more racism and more violence and is that what people want? More racists in America? More violence in America? Like, do we need more of that? I mean... Pandemic viruses will always spread, like, through borders, through continents, everywhere, like, generally, or often, so... Even if the virus originated in China, everybody is going to have to deal with this virus at some point. So, uh, yeah. 
Labeling the virus, or the Chinese virus, is just not necessary. It's it's not necessary. I mean, like, we don't need more xenophobia, and especially since uh, before the facts were in, there was no need to spread xenophobia and racism and violence against Chinese people, against Asian people, because. Asian people often look like Chinese people. That, I mean... Maybe after the fact, a virus can be attributed to a country of origin, but that always creates xenophobia and uh, hatred and conspiracies against that country so I mean and the virus the a pandemic will spread everywhere like anyway so I mean like uh, is there a point for more xenophobia conspiracies and uh, violence I mean no I don't think so I think that viruses should be labeled neutrally because uh, there are going to be a lot of conspiracies about it anyway and even after the WHO chose to label the virus uh, something neutral it still didn't stop the escalation of conspiracies and uh, racism and violence and uh, Trump you know instigated more of that so I mean, I mean, like I don't. Know. I mean, no. Okay. <clears throat> so that's about the WHO's uh, neutral name of uh, a virus and like why neutral names are preferable. About about the nature of pandemic viruses that spread internationally. Um, and blaming a specific country for uh, the virus. A question. Is it possible for uh, one country to stop the spread of a pandemic virus? Historically speaking, is it possible for a country to stop the spread of a virus? to contain it within one country? No. It's generally not. The rule is basically that it's not possible. So, uh, because then it would have happened in history. Countries would have been able to stop the, stop the uh, virus from spreading outside of their country and other countries would have been stopped, would have been able to stop the virus from coming into their country. It's not possible. It's not possible. So why would there be this um, assumption that China can stop a pandemic, a pandemic virus? Like how strong or what kind of unknown methods do these um, journalists or politicians think that? China has access to to do something that has never been done to stop a pandemic virus from spreading I mean China could be thankful that such a ability or attribution is given to China by assumption or blaming China that China should be should have been able to stop it somehow but no Pandemic viruses always spread internationally if it's that kind type of virus. It, it, it always does that. And no country can stop it. Like, what is this conspiracy that China should have known better, should have stopped it, should have prevented it, when it's not possible? It's never happened in history that a country stops a virus, a pandemic virus. It doesn't happen. A pandemic virus, if it's of that nature, will spread everywhere. It will spread everywhere Will it, you know, will can spread. The common influenza 
is also a pandemic, but now endemic virus. Can a country stop the common influenza from spreading in their country or to another country? Can any country stop the common influenza from coming into their country one season? Is that possible? So to blame China for a pandemic virus spreading is like uh, saying that countries have been able to stop pandemic viruses from spreading before in history, and that, it's, and that it is a choice to 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 prevent a virus. Pandemic virus from spreading in a country or not? It has never happened before. It has never happened before. So it is a conspiracy to believe that China could have prevented the the pandemic virus from spreading or uh, to another country or not. It's impossible. It's impossible. It is a conspiracy. It is a conspiracy. Pandemic viruses always spread according to the nature of that virus. I mean... People can mask up, vax up, or they cannot do that. I mean, at this point, it's basically up to people. Like, mask up, vax up, or don't. I mean... The virus will spread. Another reason why this uh, why the narrative of uh, China being the the blame of the virus that would have spread everywhere anyway because it's the type of virus that does that is that there is this constant negative uh, media and news attack against China that we have established by now are based often based on nothing or rumors or conspiracies that uh, reinforce each other and uh, basically indoctrinates people do, who do not realize that they are conspiracies that are based on mostly on rumors or conspiracies that China is evil and it creates a confirmation bias that journalists, you know, seek out and also a confirmation bias in readers and uh, watchers of news uh, that steer people to believe that, chi that, that the worst option about China is the true option. The China is evil. China did this intentionally. China could have stopped the virus, this pandemic virus, which has never happened before in history. So, 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 that, uh, All of the aspects of this China narrative when it comes to the coronavirus, just they just uh, they just um, I mean it doesn't it's like an automatic uh, guilt that uh, is assumed of China. That I mean, I mean, for example, it uh, it, it doesn't benefit China to, to 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 disclose any information at that point, because if China is already assumed to be guilty and evil, based on all these conspiracies, then when it when it when it actually matters, for example, this pandemic virus, then what is the, what, there is no benefit to China to to to, to disclose information to share information or anything like that at that point anymore because it's impossible to stop this virus. What is the point of, you know, giving information that, you know, that that won't even 
that won't even you know answer all questions because like who can answer all the questions in a pandemic virus like w like who's to know no it's impo it's impossible to stop the spread of this virus so like like who who like what kind of information would be satisfactory i mean people have already died i mean it's 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 basically a little bit too late and uh, blame and guilt has already been assigned based on confirmation bias. So, uh, so, uh, so, that's like that's a that's a problem. That's a general problem with this the constant negative uh, conspiracy-based attack against China. That that when it matters, China won't help. China won't, you know, voluntarily help when. China has already been assumed to be guilty like but I mean this virus cannot be stopped it cannot be stopped because this is a type of pandemic virus that just spreads like it has spread it cannot be stopped it, can, it cannot be stopped like that so uh, so As a conclusion, uh, pandemic viruses, according to the nature, will spread everywhere if it's in their nature. And uh, pandemic viruses have never been stopped by any country throughout the history of humans and pandemic viruses. So uh, blaming China for this is uh, basically, it's, there is no point. There is no point to it. The, the virus could have originated anywhere and it would have spread everywhere anyway. So, uh, it's basically a um, problematic narrative to, to, to attack China for this. It's, it's, it is a conspiracy to uh, make the assumption and to spread the assumption that China could have stopped it, would have stopped it, when it's not possible to stop this type of virus from spreading and uh that's uh that's uh, that's it and people can mask up and they can vax up at this point and uh